Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FACO module where we were been and the profit center accounting part. In the last training session, we have completed the basic settings in the profit center accounting and in today's training session we will be we will be covering the master data and actual posting maintenance in the profit center accounting part so first moving up to the master data master data refers to those records based on which the various transactions take place it contains various data information details and controls by which the transaction has to behave this is stored in the database for longer period of time if you must have done the sap fi module uh, while creating the gl master or the any of the other masters like uh, the customer master or vendor master or even asset master basically any of these master data or any other asset master or sorry master data in the sap fi it contains all the basic informations related to that particular master data at the same time it controls the various and another information is related to the same master data and even uh, the the user id and the time and date and when it has been created and how many times the master data has been changed as well so it's a very important part without master data you cannot work in the sap system whether it could be an sap fi module or co or any other module for that matter so master data is very important now in profit center accounting in master data will be there will be three different master data which has to be created one is standard hierarchy another part is profit center and the third is profit center group now moving to the next is the how to maintain the standard hierarchy a standard hierarchy is a tree structure that contains all profit centers belonging to a controlling area and that reflects the organizational structure used in the profit center accounting a standard hierarchy in a simple terms can be termed as a profit center group prior to creating any profit centers within your controlling area you must first complete the standard hierarchy which is the central profit center hierarchy created in the system and it act as the one repository for all profit centers it can create additional or alternative hierarchies to meet additional planning or reporting requirements and for possible use in the allocation process but in a practical scenario they are used to only one standard hierarchy for a particular company code each time you create a profit center a hierarchy nod assignment is required on the master data that is why before moving on to create the profit center you need to have a standard hierarchy which will contain all the profit centers in it with the help of the nod assignment the requirement of an assignment thus assures you that all profit centers will be applied to one and only one node within the hierarchy now there is one important thing which has to be taken care before moving on to create the standard hierarchy you can take it as a tip as a consulting part for this before beginning the development for creating the standard hierarchy and all spend time querying with the management about any upcoming changes to their organizational changes develop a, a hierarchy outline outline on a spreadsheet and seek sign off from the management this will save needless development time else there are number of times the changes comes up from the management so it is better to outline draft it and get it signed with the management which will give you a go ahead for creating the standard hierarchy in the sap system 
you can develop a standard hierarchy like most of the master data is been done now moving on to how we can create a standard hierarchy into the system that we can move and we can have a look in the SAP system itself so let's move on to the system so we can move up with the path where the IMG then the controlling profit center accounting and master data is there so let's move on to the SAP screen SPRO enter we need to go to the reference IMG screen and then we can move on to the display IMG now and now we can move to the controlling in controlling we need to go to profit center accounting and in profit center accounting now you can see there is master data and then profit center so there is master data on the screen we can expand this tab and then we can move to the profit center and again we can expand the profit center tab so in this you can find the first option there is define a standard hierarchy this is the options which we need to execute so we can execute this over here execute it now you can see it asks you for the controlling area so the controlling area is Z100 enter so as we entered you can see on the screen there is already a standard hierarchy defined this is the standard hierarchy which we have defined while creating the settings in the basic setting part where we had defined the standard hierarchy as 1200 if you remember if you want we can move back to the same screen and we can have looked or else you can you can go back to the basic settings and in that you will find the very first configuration step where we have defined the standard hierarchy 1200 so once you define the standard hierarchy there the system automatically creates that as a hierarchy over here on the system so moving on to now this there is 1200 controlling area for 1200 you can see on the heading change standard hierarchy profit center group because the standard hierarchy is already created as you can see on the below part the standard hierarchy 1200 for controlling area Z100 have already been created because this has been defined in the customization steps so now in this particular screen if you want you can define different same level or lower level options on this so any additions can be done on this particular part so you can use these different tabs as same level lower levels for creating further options over here as a part of uh, levels so suppose for example we can create few of them right now as on the screen just like I can go for a lower level and in lower level you can find there is a this is the standard hierarchy and this hierarchy contains these different levels even if you want you can create same levels as a hierarchy as well so suppose I define over here as uh, the profit centers can be selected if there is any so you can see there is nothing as of now so the same has been taken up you can change that and you can put it as uh, 1000 to this and then you can define the profit center over here so the profit center could be suppose I give the profit center as product A similarly you can create more of similar like over here with similar option now 2000 I have taken up as a product B or even if you are taking the profit center as per plant wise in that case you can define this as a, a different plant like plant one and then you can take the second one as plan two and similarly if you want you can create further in that same level as 3000 as a third profit center hierarchy options like plan three so this is how you can create these hierarchies and within these hierarchies you can assign different profit centers to it so this is how you can create this standard hierarchy and now you can save this screen and your hierarchy will be created so you can see the message the changes have been saved so this is how you need to create your hierarchy in the asset in the profit center accounting part and we are done with the first configuration step of maintaining this standard hierarchy now moving on to the second part now is second configuration step in the master data is to create profit center group 
Profit center can be grouped together to form an hierarchical structure based on the geography, functions, extra, etc. In this step, we will create profit center groups under the profit center hierarchy, standard hierarchy. So that is what the last step which we did was profit center group actually that 1000, 2000 and 3000, three different plans that has been created are actually the profit center groups. The standard hierarchy was 1200 which was which was uh, been created on the heading and the below to that the 1000 as a profit center group for plant 1 then 2000 for plant 2, 3000 for plant 3 relates to actually the profit center groups. So profit center groups are collections of profit centers with similar characteristics. So let's see this particular path now moving on to the SAP screen so you can see in the same profit center under the profit center accounting master data and in master data profit center and in profit center we can see below on that is define profit center groups so we can go and we can execute this step so as we execute we can even we can even explore the list of different groups created enter and you will find that this one Two and this three, 1000, 2000, 3000, which has been created in the last configuration step while creating or maintaining the standard hierarchy were actually the profit center groups. This 1200 is actual the standard hierarchy, but the 1000, 2000, and 3000 are actually the profit center groups. Let's revisit this again in the new screen. okay so after defining the profit center groups however this profit center group is an optional part it is not necessary to create the groups but uh, for the management perspective or for better understanding of different reporting perspective we create these groups to to make the grouping of the similar profit centers so moving up to the next configuration the step now is to create profit center so, profit center basically is the organizational unit in accounting that reflects a management oriented structure of the organization for the purpose of internal control. This profit center master data is a very important part as different reports like financial statements income statements can be generated on the basis of different profit centers which will give further reports for better understanding of the company's internal operations in a better way to the management so it is why different at different levels the operations are divided into profit center levels it could be divided on the basis of plant for example suppose an a company or an organization have got different plants uh, in different locations so those plant can be named as a profit center and on the on the basis of profit center whatever the transactions take place of for that particular plant they are linked with a profit center of that particular plant itself and you can generate the financial statements for that particular plant so as to understand what are the different profits revenues or expenses or maybe the assets and liabilities for that particular respective plant which gives the management a better understanding about the operations and the financial health health of that particular plant similarly the another one of the practical scenario can be that if the organization has operations in different locations and they have branches in different locations that can be named as a profit center as well and in that case if that has been named as a profit center again those reportings those financial statements trial balance income statements or even the sales report and the expenses report can be generated for that particular operation or for that particular branch which gives the management a higher 
decision power or decision making power on the basis of those things because the system can give you those reports which will help the management to understand their their operations their business their uh, their particular branches in a more better way which are more profitable which are generating more revenues which are under profits and under losses and the management can decide and take decisions on the basis of that so moving on to profit center how these profit centers can be created so there is a path on the screen again to you for that SAP easy access accounting controlling profit center accounting master data and then profit center and define profit center so this is the path with which we can move and we can create the profit center or even we can create with the IMG screen as you can see over here on the screen as well so both the options are there whichever options you want to take up with can be taken up this can be taken up over here as IMG as well or even it can be taken from the easy access options as well so you can see over here within the controlling profit center accounting master data and then profit center and in profit center there is an option of define profit center so we need to move and we need to execute this option over here and now you can find two options one is to create the profit center another step is to change the profit center so to create the profit center now we need to go to create profit center double click on the create profit center so once I double click it took me to the next screen and you can see now create profit center is the heading so now in this particular step first I need to define the profit center so I need to take the profit center code over here with which I want to create so for creating the profit center we need to take the profit center code over here the profit center code can be of 10 characters it could be alphanumeric so as how I can go for now for creating the profit center is like so we can do some working on the Excel before creating the profit center as you remember I have created three different profit center groups one was for product one another was product two and the third was product three so the profit these are basically the group profit center group now within the groups these different products can have different profit centers or even this can be taken up as plant more better understanding so the plant can be taken as plant one plan 2 and then plan 3 and these three plant can have their different profit centers so suppose in one particular plant there are number of different products been manufactured in plan 2 the products which are manufactured are different from one and uh, there, are, there are multiple products which have been manufactured so over here we can the plant 1 can be taken up as a credential with starting as one so I can take one over here and then again I can put one zero 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 as a five digit then I can create another profit center with one two zero 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 one three zero 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 similarly I can take the other one but this is plan two so I will start this with the initials as two which will give me an idea that this refers to the plan two so it will be two one zero 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 then again the next one can start with 22000 next 323000 similarly we can move to the plan 3 which will start now with the initial as 3 the first initial the first number will will give an idea of the plant with which that profit center refers to and the next digit will give an idea of the product it is related to so similarly we can create 3300 so these different plan profit code has been taken now these profits uh, center codes can be assigned their different names for example the first one can be named as uh, um, suppose I take it as soap another one can be given as sample another one can be given as a oil category and over here on the second part it can be taken as like 
biscuits the next can be taken up as like chips or maybe for snacks and the third one can be taken as a separate like uh, mm, cakes now again the over here we can move to like cigarettes then cigars and the next one can be taken up as like uh, what we can take up as like is cigarette cigar and it could be taken as a different narcotic or different miscellaneous you can take it as so these are suppose different profit centers which I need to create now the plant one is the one which create these three different products plant two create these different products plant three create these different products so I can create these these different as a different profit center so we can move to the screen and now what we can do is we can first let's correct the profit center groups which we have created wrongly let's change it from product one two three to plant one two three so to go for the changes I need to go to the transaction KCH2 now in this I need to change it so it is already plant one two three so you can see over here now we will create the profit center on the second screen so the transaction code for the profit center is KE51 so KE51 enter so we'll be creating the first profit center as uh, per the axel that is 11000 for soap 11000 enter so this is the code which has been assigned over here now the next part is the analysis period so you need to uh, assign the period over here from which period the profit center will be active and will be applicable now this particular profit center can be time based as well and you want that the profit center should be should become deactivated after a certain period of time in that case you can even define the time from and to option so I would be taking the period over here as like first of uh, April 2014 then I can take the name so the name taken up over here is S O A P S soaps similarly I can take over here as well now over here you need to define the person responsible so the responsible person can be given a name as you wish A B C or maybe suppose I name it as Joe the department can be taken up over here like the department would be controlling moving to the next the group so this is where it is important now profit center group you can see so this particular profit center 11,000 for soap relates to the group plant one so that is what we need to select over here from this so you can see over here there are different plant 1, plant 2, plant 3 so the 1 can be taken up over here so this means that this particular profit center will be grouped in the profit center group 1000 and then if you want you can select the segment or else you can read blank moving to the next now is the indicators okay this uh, hierarchy is locked okay it's because the second screen is open so if the same screen will be open in another screen the same field will be open in that case the system will not allow you to move ahead so now we can take it up and enter so now moving to the next is indicators so in indicators if you want this particular profit center to lock you can click onto this lock so now moving to the next there is nothing to do in this nothing so this is what you need to do in that part that in the basic data you just need to fill these details as a basic data part that what will be the description what from when it will be the activated from and then the person responsible the user responsible can be assigned the department can be assigned to it and this particular profit center 
group has to be assigned. So once the group has been assigned, now we can move and we can save this screen. So as you save, you will find that a message has been generated. Profit center 11,000 save in inactive status. That means this particular profit center right now is inactive. You cannot use it. The system will not allow you to use this profit center until it is active. So we can click on to the continue part and now we can move up on the screen on the top you can see over here that there is a torch over here small part so this over here option you can see that activate so to activate this particular profit center 11000 you need to go and click this particular option to activate the profit center so you can move up to this and now click on to this so once you click it will be activated so you can see now the message has been generated profit center 11000 has been created similarly you can move on to the next that is 12000 for samples now we can move and we can create the second one so you need to take this code over here which had to be created then we need to enter on the screen now you can see again the second one is 12000 again the date and then you can put the description over here sample and then you need to move over here downside as a person responsible and profit center group these are the two mandatory parts as you can see these are tick marked which means a mandatory field so again I can put the name over here as Joe and I can take the profit center group again from the screen from the list of the different groups so again this particular profit center is starting with one with one the initial first character represents the plant so it is one that means it refers to the plant one and the second character that is two represents the profit center linkages with the product so now we can move and we can save the screen again and again the message will be generated profit center 12000 saved in inactive status and now we can move and we can activate this with the with the option over here so we can click on to this and you can see the profit center 12000 has been created similarly you can move to the next like the biscuits in plan 2 can be created again so if you move on to the second one like the plan 2 that is we'll start with 21000 enter you need to put the name as biscuits then you need to select the person responsible and then you need to select the profit center group now the it is starting with the initial as 2 on the screen that means it will be referring to the plant 2 so it will be taken the group will be taken as a plant 2 part that is 2000 and now we can move and we can activate it directly so once you click on to activate it will automatically get activated and will be saved so click on to activate and you can see now profit center 21000 has been activated so this is how you would be creating the other profit centers on your screen similarly you can have another scenarios as well like you can segregate your your business of operations that is the reasons as a profit center as well so as you wish you can have it and accordingly you will find your financial statements for the decision making part so this is how we, where the profit center can be created into the system and this is how your master data has been done. So we are done with the master data part now. We'll be moving to the next configuration step that is actual postings. So moving to the actual postings maintenance, actual data is reflected in profit center accounting from the account assignment objects for both postings in financial accounting that is revenues or primary cost and allocations in cost accounting there can be two way outs for actual postings in profit center accounting one is period accounting which is a simple solution and second is cost of sales accounting which is a complex solution in addition to it, you can reflect changes in stock from material management module and changes to work in progress from production orders. 
as well as revenues directly from sales and distribution in profit center accounting. Now moving on to further preparing profit center accounting to accept actual postings can be simple or complex depending on the needs of the company. On the simple side that is the period accounting all that is required is to activate the fiscal year control parameters. Create proper document types and define the necessary number ranges. On the complex side additional account assignments has to be maintained and internal goods movement has to be defined and segregated to enhance the profitability picture for each profit centers. So moving into further for the period accounting to have a discussion on the period accounting part. Period accounting tracks profitability through the use of revenue and cost elements. The period, the principle behind period accounting states that all cost and revenues incurred within a given period including sales, deductions, cost of sales, cost of production and all overhead expenses summed together net the total operating profit. As a delivery system profit center accounting is set up to support the period accounting approach with the standard reports found in its information system. Whereas cost of sales account uses a different strategy which is a complex solution. Cost of sales accounting also tracks revenue but the revenue is compared to only the cost of sales associated with the quantity sold during the period. Manufacturing costs incurred in the period are held in inventory and not recognized until the time the inventory is sold. Additional selling and marketing and overhead expenses are also recognized in the period with the net result being profitability for that period. So these are the two different way outs for the actual postings in the profit center accounting. However, we will be moving to the simple steps that is the period accounting as a simple solution for better understanding as a beginner. So the first step in the configuration steps is to define the document types. Defining the document types by this time you must have been exposed to the document principles and how the how familiar with the document types in the SAP FI part. You must have been known by now that how the document type works what is a document and how different document types has been related to different documents in the SAP FI module and in FI the document types lets SAP know among other things which transactions are to be posted in profit center accounting the document type controls things like what currencies the postings can be maintained in document number range and whether the transaction must be balanced. So it basically control things like what currencies the postings can be maintained in the document number range and the transaction must be balanced that is the debit and the credit should be equal to each other. So now moving on to create the prof document type we can move on to the SAP screen. The path is there on your screen. So it is profit center accounting then the actual posting and an actual posting there is basic setting actuals. So let's move on to the SAP screen. We need to go to SPRO enter then SAP reference IMG. Now we need to move on to controlling and then profit center accounting. 
in profit center accounting we need to move to actual posting so that is over here and in actual postings there is basic settings actual and once I executed this part you can find the option maintain document type so it is profit center accounting then actual postings then basic setting actual and then maintain document type so now it is through the document type that the FI postings are controlled in the controlling area so executing the option now so you can see on the screen now there are number of different document types assigned on the screen what we will be using is the document type A0 the valid document type as appeared on the screen as a default document type that is A0 this is it you can use this delivery document type or one can even create their own document type as well as with all SAP deliver objects we recommend that you can create a new one to do so we need to go to new entries and have to click on it and as we click you can find a new screen has been generated on the system so in this we need to define the document type the document type is a two character ID that represents the document type so the two characters suppose I take it as a Z next is the transaction currency so activating this settings if you want the transaction currency stored at the time of posting however we recommend it that you should take it so select or enable it the next is the next is C2. C2 refers to the second currency. Activate this settings as well. And C3 refers to the third currency. Activate this as well. So we suggest to activate these all that is the transaction currency second column. C2 refers to the second currency. C3 refers to the third currency. These currencies are activated C2 and C3 are activated if you want to capture the postings in a in an another currency as well. Moving to the next is balance check. The balance check has three options if you go and we check in it. There are three options one is 0, another is 1 and the next is 2. 0 refers to an error is returned if the balance is not zero this will force all the profit center entry to be balanced another is one that is a warning is returned if the balance is not zero if you wish to offer the flexibility of unbalanced entries then this option has to be selected and the third is no balance check is conducted so we'll take that zero option so that the balance should be there against the profit center and it should be zero for debit and credit and now we can assign it as a description over here so as a description you can write it as a document type az for company code 1200 so this is how you need to create your own document type and now we can save it and the document type has been created so you can see the message data was saved so this is how you need to create your own document type for the controlling area now moving to the next section is or the next configuration step now is to define the profit center document number range so as noted earlier the document type is assigned or to a number range so is used as a number range assignment object and thus must be completed first 
So when we post a profit center accounting, the system creates profit center documents and these documents are uniquely identified with a document number. So we need to create a document number for the same. So on the same SAP screen now, we can find the second option over here after the maintain document type is define number range for local documents. So you can go and we can execute this option and once executed it took us to the second screen now that is to maintain the number range. So now moving to the next we need to move on to the screen over here as group and we need to click on to this group option over here as to maintain the number range. So once I clicked on to the group now you can find there are number of different groups and you can notice even that these are the document type which has been not been assigned on the footer. So this is over here not assigned AZ. AZ is the document type which we just had created. So now we will select the group that is this group need to be selected and we can put the cursor over here and we can go to select element. So this is the group which you need to select first for actual posting as you can see actual document from direct postings with GB01. This is to be selected first. Second we need to put the cursor on the document type which we had defined as they are not assigned. So we need to put the cursor on this and then we need to go to this option over here select element. So once I click on to the select element now you will find that this has been in highlighted and then we can move to click on to this maintain option. Take care that you first need to select this option. Second you need to put the cursor on the AZ document type which we had just created in last step and then we move to this option as select and once selected now we can move to the option as maintain. So once I click on to the maintain option it will ask you the company code. So we need to assign the company code that is 1200 and now we can get click on to the right mark. So you can see now we have moved to the next screen and it asks you to put the number range on the screen. So it is slightly complicated you must be very much clear with it. Let's move back again once again. What we did is we first need to go to this maintain option. Once I click on to the maintain groups now I need to select this first option that is actual document for direct posting with GB01. Then I need to put the cursor on the document type AZ and I need to go to this particular arrow over here so as to select this document type. So I clicked onto it and you can see it has been highlighted now. So once this has been done now we need to go to the option over here to maintain the number range. So click on to this maintain and once I clicked on to the maintain it asks you the company code in which this particular document type and this particular actual document from direct posting has to be maintained. So assign the company code 1200 enter. So once I entered it took me to the next step that is to maintain the number range. So now over here we need to maintain the number range in the dialog box as appearing on the screen for the company code 1200. So for that we need to go to this interval option so as to insert the interval and now we can assign the number range over here. So the year is 2014 you need to assign the fiscal year over here and then you can put the numbers. So suppose I take the number from not from this but from 8 series and then I can take on this side as 8. So this is how we have assigned the number from and to and the fiscal year and then we can go to this insert option click on to the insert. So once inserted now we can go and we can save the screen and you can see the number range then click on to continue and you can see the message the changes were saved that means the number range has been created successfully. So this is how you need to create the number range. So once the number range has been completed 
we have completed the number range step now we can move to the next configuration step so one thing you have to take care in this case is that be sure to extend the fiscal year as you move in the future for every next fiscal year the number range has to be maintained at this particular part so moving to the next configuration step now is maintain automatic account assignment of revenue elements so this particular configuration step is an optional step where we by default maintain the profit center for a particular cost element or a cost center so these settings can be maintained at any time but the effects are not retrospective and additional account assignment tool is available to the profit center accounting here only and this assignment relates a cost or a revenue element postings to a single profit center so where you want a particular cost element to be assigned to a particular profit center where whatever the transactions take place with that particular cost element has to be hit with this particular profit center in those cases these kind of settings are done or customized so this is something which is very rarely been done in any any of the organization but there could be exceptions where a particular cost element had to be routed to a particular profit center in those cases these configuration step is to be used so moving up to this particular step now we can move to the path again so the path is profit center accounting actual posting and then maintain automatic account assignment of revenue elements so we can move on to the screen now we can see the option over here maintain automatic account assignment of revenue elements we can execute this step over here so once executed you can see on the screen now that there is a company code there is a cost element then there is a cost center order profit center that says that you can make a particular cost element or cost center or a particular internal order mandatory for a particular profit center that means whatever the transactions take place with that particular cost element or cost center or order will be posted to that particular single profit center so here you can go with the new entries and you can maintain your company code 1200 you can select the cost elements as well the number of cost elements within the company code can be taken so we can take the cost element from over here so these are the number of different cost elements defined if you want you can select any of them suppose I take it as depreciation on building and you can assign the profit center over here against this cost center so you can see this list of different profit center on your screen which we just defined in the in the initial customization steps today only so if, suppose I select the third one that is the biscuits that is one two one zero 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 over here so this is how it can be assigned over here on the screen so once you have assigned the company code the cost element with the profit center that means whatever the transactions that take place with the cost element four zero 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 six will be posted to a single profit center unique to this table is the ability to assign the balance it accounts so this is how you can assign your different cost element even the cost centers and internal order can be assigned to a single profit center as well now we can move and we can save this screen so it says is uh, only allowed for revenue elements okay so we need to select the revenue element over here not the cost expenses part but a revenue part has to be taken that means we need to take uh, income cost element so we can take it as the sales account over here that is it 
so that is what has been selected enter and now it can be saved to the request so you can see the data was saved that means this particular cost element will be posted to this particular single profit center only so this is how you can maintain the automatic account assignment of revenue elements moving to the next now is to choose additional balance sheet in profit and loss accounts now in this case the profit center accounting gives the choice of assigning the additional cost elements or the balance it accounts to a given profit center standard sap functionality allows you to transfer at period ends the primary balance it accounts including the ar ap or assets and the balance for the payables or receivables assets and material stocks will default to the profit center that is assigned to the relative master data involved so how we can do that in this screen we can move and we can see on the sap system so the set the settings are controlling area dependent so be certain that the proper controlling area is set so let's see how this can be done in the sap system so the path is again controlling profit center accounting actual postings so we can move to actual postings then you can see choose additional balance sheet and profit and loss account and then once we execute this now we can move to choose accounts so this is the path profit center accounting to actual postings actual postings to choose additional balance sheet and profit and loss accounts and then choose accounts we can execute this option now and once executed you can find the options from and to and the default profit center so we can go to this new entries you can assign the gl from and to and you can assign the default profit center which had to be assigned over here so this is uh, one of the cases which is very rarely been done but if you want to default the certain profit center to a gl for the balance sheet and profit and loss assignments that can be done over here just like for example we can select any of the gl as a as a scenario let's take any of the items like i take it as land and then assign this particular gl from and to and I assign the default profit center 11000 can be done and it can be saved that means the assignment can be done in this way so you can see how you can put the gl from and to range and you can default the profit center so as to have the balance sheet and profit and loss account as an additional part on the basis of profit center accounting so this is how the profit center customization is done moving to the next is to allow the balances to be carried forward so once we assign the balance sheet gl to the balance sheet on the basis of default profit center as we did in the additional balance sheet and profit and loss accounts we need to carry the balances to the to be carried forward as well so to carry forward the balances we need to move on to this particular configuration step that is balance carry forward so let's see how these balance can be carried forward onto the sap system let's move to the sap path so in this now you can have a look says profit center accounting then basic settings so this is basic settings in that we need to go to balance carry forward and in balance carry forward we can find allow balances to be carried forward so that is the first option so it is profit center accounting balance basic settings then balance carry forward and allow balances to be carried forward now we can execute this option over here so once executed you can find there are two options over here carry forward not allowed and carry forward allowed 
So if you have maintained any settings on the additional balance sheet and profit and loss account assignment table that is the last step the last configuration step which we just did that is this it is necessary to set the balance carry forward indicator as we can see on the screen over here balance carry forward allowed indicator for the profit center accounting environment so if you you are assigning any or you are making any settings for the additional balance and profit and loss account assignment for default profit centers in that case you need to select this carry forward allowed option so that the balance can be carried forward from one uh, fiscal year to the next fiscal year in the default profit center now we can save this option over here and your customization will be saved and that has to be done so that is it there is nothing else okay we need to select this carry forward option and we need to execute this so once executed you can see the balance carry forward indicator was already set so moving on further this is it so this was the configuration steps which had to be done for profit center accounting so we have covered the master data and the actual postings as in the today's training session now we'll see you in the next training session with the next topic now we cannot do any kind of a unit testing or any kind of a transaction testings right now we'll be doing that as we will be able to probably in the next training session once we are done with the cost center accounting then we can do certain of the transactions and we'll see how these profit center cost centers and cost elements flow are done and how they flow into the SAP system and what are the different reports for that as well so you can go through this profit center customizations in your SAP system and that is it about the profit center we are done with it we'll see you in the next training session with a new topic till then thank you